from Shanti. You welcome back. We are doing the recording of 17th of October's Godly Blessing. Now, Supreme Father wants us to have a very stable and powerful mind, and there are certain codes of conduct which we need to follow on a daily basis to become that powerful soul who is known as a Brahmin. Brahmin is none other than a powerful being who has got the spiritual knowledge and is able to practice that knowledge in their life on a daily basis so as to maintain complete happiness, complete joy, complete peace, complete bliss, complete purity and complete power. Otherwise, that soul is not a Brahmin or is aspiring to become a Brahmin. So let's see what does Supreme Creator have to say over here. Godfather says, May you constantly experience the canopy of protection by staying within the life line of the codes of conduct and become a victorious and conqueror of Maya. Remembrance of the Father that means whenever we are in connection with the Supreme Creator, Infinite Being, Infinite Soul, Infinite Energy, by considering ourselves to also be Infinite Souls, Infinite Light, Infinite Energy, when we are in that process of meditation. So remembrance of the Father is the canopy of protection. According to how much you have remembrance of the Father, you experience His company. So being in that kind of meditation, any kind of situation comes. Could be any form of Maya, could be anybody else getting angry, greedy, jealous, hating you or doing anything impure towards you. You will still have a constant and a stable mind with no ill feelings, no judgments, no impure thoughts towards that soul and that makes you stable. This is what happens when we connect ourselves to the Supreme Creator. To stay under the canopy of protection means to be constantly safe. Safe from what? Safe from ending up doing a karma which makes us feel sadder, depressed, low, have a mood swing, feel feel anything impure in a mind and have a poor health or poor relationships. That is the safety God is talking about. Those who come out of from under the canopy of protection, even in their thoughts, that means any kind of impure thought, any kind of thoughts full of desires or worldly things, over desiring worldly things just for the self and not for the seva or not for the purpose of serving others. Any kind of attachment to things, people are attacked by Maya. When you stay under the canopy of protection and within the line of the codes of conduct, what to think, what to say, how to act, what to eat and everything which God has taught us on a daily basis in Brahma Kumaris. If we just cross that for one second, we can feel negative impure energy setting into our mind and disturbing us first. And that's a sign that we are crossing the line of code of conduct. So God says, no one has courage to come inside if you are following the codes of conduct. Inside means... No impure thoughts, nobody else's emotions affecting you, nobody else's mind affecting you. However, if you step outside the line, then Maya becomes clever. So by experiencing his company, you become a conqueror of Maya. If you have observed the yin-yang sign, it's a circle with an S kind of shape with two dots. On one side you have the black and on the other side you have the white. Those two dots are you the soul. Either you're traveling in the darker edge or you're traveling in the lighter edge. And there's a thin line in between in the shape of an S. You can make it as an S or you can think of it as a straight line. And any time you cross over from the white, pure thinking, positive thinking, kindness or any virtue towards darkness or vices, there will be an effect in our state, in our own state, nobody else's. And that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris to stay on the right side and not on the left side. With this, stay tuned. Om Shanti.